morning. So, I don't know how many weeks ago I moved these succulents out into the sun and they're doing really, generally quite well. However, what you might be able to tell is that the gravel on these is much lighter than this gravel. This used to be a water fountain, these three here. And so this bottom section and all the ones above are actually all waterproofed so that they won't let water out. Now that is going to become a problem in the long run. At the moment, these Sempervivums or house leeks are doing really, really well. They're looking really fresh and really um, growing really nicely. But I think if they kept this damp for a long period of time, we've had quite a lot of rain recently, I think they'll start rotting off. So I think I said when I first did these, I kind of like the idea of doing a rockery. So I'm going to turn this small, the bottom one here, into a rockery. The ones above are okay because the water can run out of these sections here. But this bottom one, it just pulls and collects. And about three days now, I've had to tip the water out of the top, which just isn't right. So I'm going to have a go at making a rockery in here. What I've got here is the largest rock here. I'm going to just give you an idea of what I'm going to do with that. I've got this kind of plan. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see how it goes. And then these kind of rocks are actually in my gravel along the side down the shady alley. They, I think there's some form of granite. They're an igneous rock. They're very hard and they're lovely and blue. And actually, not just did I find these, but I've also got an entire bucket worth there. It's not this one. This one's just to help me build up early on. But these ones are looking really good. Some compost. Some of the gravel that I used to top them last time to finish it all off. So the first step I've got to do is I've got to remove these three off the top because otherwise it will topple over. So I'm going to take these down, stop filming for a moment, and take this off the stand and then be able to show you what I'm going to do next. First step is to gently remove all of these stem five of them. So I'll just do it by hand really, really slowly, taking a bit of soil with them, making sure they get their roots. I'm going to just put them in this tray so I can reuse them in a moment. They should just lift out like so, so they've got all their roots with them, like that. So look at these, wow, they are doing really well. But as I said, in the long term, the likelihood is they'll start to rot off if they get really wet. And you can actually see how wet the soil is. You just go down a little bit, it's just full of water. With that in mind, really, in order for them to grow properly, we need most of them to be growing above this line. So that the water, although it will pool, will then run over the edge. Um, of this so anything growing at this level is going to get really waterlogged that does give us quite a lot of room to kind of play with when in terms of the rockery setup so the thing that I want to do is at the front I'm thinking of making a water feature so to do that I'm going to use some plastic it's aquarium plastic well not necessarily aquarium plastic but it's a bag that we got some of our aquarium fish in that I've cut in half to line it but I've got to dig out this section now I will try and save some of the soil some of it I'm just going to put up here because I'll show you what I'm going to do in a second to kind of make it work maybe So this is what I've managed to do so far. Here's the back. 
and the front I put some water in, the battery died while I was doing it. I'm gonna now put some gravel in and then I've got some spare ones over here which I can put into that green tray. So yes, the next bit is just to cover the soil with gravel so it doesn't all wash away. And then I will assemble it and see how it looks. This is the finished Sempervivum rockery dish. As you can see, all the plants are above the actual terracotta line so of the pot. So hopefully they won't get too wet. They'll take a while to settle in. I am expecting to lose a few, but we actually have a whole new tray. So I've got up to four trays of extras. And if this works, I'm really tempted to do something similar. I've got loads of these rocks left over, which is brilliant. Um, but I'm quite impressed. Oh look, I've got a dunnock. Dunnocks are really cute. They're more closely related to robins. We used to call them hedge sparrows back in the day. But they're not hedge sparrows. They're more related to a robin. Well, they like to eat insects. I've got a pair. Hopefully they have babies. And this morning I saw a baby robin. How exciting. Anyway, back to this. I'm really happy with general look. The only thing I think I might do is I might add something to the pond section. So let's see what I've got in the pond that might work. So we've got all these grassy-like things. So I'm thinking of maybe taking some of that over to the little tiny miniature pond. I'll take a little clump of it. I think it's looking really cool. So what I'm going to see now is I'm just going to pour some water in at the top end and see whether it'll come through in the right place. Let's see how that goes. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're inspired to maybe do a project like this even in your garden. Have a lovely day. Bye.